Hello Von Randy here, and it seems like as of late LED light bars have been getting quite popular, but the question is, do they RGB? Okay everyone, so we got here is another MIC tuning. This is a 22 inch, 120 watt LED light bar, and this is their RGB variant of it. Uh, what that simply means is it can do a wide range of colors. Not just the color of the light, by the way. The color of the light is black, but the light that this thing produces can be any color you want it to be. So let's uh, get this open and check it out. And just a uh, disclaimer, by the way, again, uh, they did send this uh, particular unit to me for free to review. So we're going to take a look at it here. Okay, so let's uh, start by getting it out of the box here. I've got the box cut open already. And other than taking a look at the top, I have not seen the light itself yet. We got some uh, actual instructions, or appear to be instructions with this one. Some mounting brackets there look like the same as the uh, previous light bar I had. And there's the light itself. Okay, we've got the wiring harnesses. Looks like there's actually two wiring harnesses. So this looks to be the uh, main wiring harness here. We've got the switch, the fuse. That would be the uh, relay up in there. It's quite the uh, bundle, I have to say. And then we've got the second wiring harness. I'm assuming this is the uh, controller. Yes, this appears to be the controller. The uh, RGB LED driver. So this needs to be hooked up so you can use the uh, iPhone or Android app that controls the color of the light from this uh, particular unit. And we should probably just leave that uh, protective film on there until we get this installed. So here's the uh, mounting hardware. They simply just uh, mount on the ends here. Actually probably that way around from the looks of it. And we got some bolts, screws, washers, nuts and some rubber mounting pads in there. Those go into there. I'm assuming that makes a waterproof uh, connection. So anyway, let's uh, get started and I'll uh, walk you through how we're gonna hopefully install this here in a moment. Okay folks, and just before we install this in the vehicle here, I just wanna run through the wiring outside the vehicle. So hopefully once we get it in the vehicle, it'll make a little more sense. Now this uh, particular wiring harness has what you want to see on a wiring harness for a light bar. You know, smaller LED lights, like I got a little, couple little four inch ones on the front, you probably don't need all this stuff. But for the larger ones, you want to see a relay, and that's what this uh, box here is, a 12 volt, 40 amp relay. So starting off with the wiring here, we'll just start right at the beginning, which the way they have it set up, connecting it to the battery, which we're just gonna do that this time around, we'll connect it straight to the, well, where the battery terminates anyway, where it connects. I'm not gonna connect it straight to the battery. But from there, it goes to a relay. And from that relay, we've got a switch here that turns the relay on. Now, I'm not entirely sure yet if this actually turns the light on or not. We'll have to find out once we get it uh, connected. I'm uh, suspecting it just turns the relay on, not the light. We'll have to find out here. Uh, the connection for the battery there has a fuse on it. And in this case, a whopping 30 amp fuse. It seems a mite excessive, considering it should only be a 120 watt light. Of course, the ground for the battery there. Uh, then we have a connection here. This is for this uh, control box. There's a connection here. And again, you shouldn't be able to mix these, at least with this uh, particular light bar, you shouldn't be able to mix these connections up. They only go one way and only connect to each other. Next, of course, we have the switch here. Like I said, this probably just turns the relay on. I don't think this will actually turn the light on and off because there is another button here on the control box. Next, we have the power for the light itself. This is going to connect to the uh, gray plug on the light here. And then for the uh, control box itself, again, like I said, this is the one that goes for the power from the first wiring harness there. And then we have a connection to the light. And again, you can't really mix these connections up. This one will not plug into that one. And then there is a button on here. And like I said, I'm assuming this is probably the button that actually turns the light on and off. So anyway, we'll get this installed in the vehicle here. And I'll see what's what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna start installing this on the vehicle here. And uh, just a disclaimer here, I wanna say do at your own risk. But for the most part, this should be simple enough. So we're gonna connect the red side. And at least on my truck here, the positive terminal connects up to 
starter relay here, and I'm just going to put that up there. And then for the negative, I'm just going to connect that for the battery for the time being. This uh, particular lead on here is just a little bit short where I'd like it to connect to. I'd like it to snake around and uh, connect to the ground connection right. I know you can't see it on the camera, but there's a ground connection right underneath here. That's not quite long enough at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we're going to stick the other positive lead. This will come off anyway. There we go. Okay, these terminals are just a little bit big for the connections I got on my truck. Not a big deal to switch those out to something a little more appropriately sized. Now, we got the switch here connected. I noticed we got power. I'm assuming, yes, now it's off. So we're gonna get the uh, second box here hooked up. And that is simply gonna go into that there. And again, where you mount this in your vehicle, it's gonna depend on your vehicle and how you run the wires is gonna depend on your vehicle as well. It looks like they are long enough in this case. I have a spot on the driver's side there where there's a couple rubber grommets where I can run wires through. So this should be simple enough. Okay, and just to show you here, at least on my truck, and like I was saying, this is gonna be different for every vehicle, at least on my truck, down below this uh, big connection here, there is two rubber grommets where you can actually feed wiring through. And yeah, unfortunately, like I said, this big one here is in the way, so I can't really show you. But just below that, there's a spot where you can feed wires through. And uh, with these two connections, you can uh, take them apart. So it makes it a little easier to get through rather than having to you know, try to feed the whole switch through. And uh, same thing on this one. Now this one here is just a little bit bigger, but should still, at least in my case anyway, be easy enough to get through where I needed to get through. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, brackets here mounted up to the light. And like I was saying earlier, all the hardware is included for that, along with the, the Allen key needed. Now the one thing you will need for the bolts here, these are the bolts that are provided. Now I won't be using these in this case, but you will need a wrench or something to use those and the nuts. And what we got is a washer and a lock washer. Yeah, so I'm just going to connect that on there. Now this of course lets you adjust your angle. And we'll get the one for the other side. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make the uh, connections to the light here. And like I was saying, there's two connections. You got your main power. You can kind of tell the bigger, heavier wires. And these are apparently the uh, control wires, I'm assuming. And these are all waterproof connections from the looks of it. So there we go. Light is now connected. And now we can uh, get to try it out. Okay, we're gonna go through how to uh, set this up here. And the instructions aren't super helpful other than the fact you can see the name of the app up there. So in order to control this light, you're gonna need to download the app. Hopefully you can see that name there. Bled them, bleed them. Not exactly sure how you pronounce that. But you need to uh, download and install that app. And like I said, there's supposed to be Android and Apple iPhone versions of that. So once you get the app installed, we can open the app up here. And go up to the little Bluetooth icon up there. That should list the light there. Just click on the little light bulb. It should tell you it's connected. Now I'm already connected apparently. So we should be good to go. Click the little check box down there and we are ready to control our light. Okay, now for controls, it looks like the switch turns this light on and off. So we got light, shut the switch back off. This is the main switch, by the way, the big switch. And then for the button, the button here changes colors. So we got blinking and strobing colors there. Push it again, it's got several different options. So then it looks like it goes to green, kind of a slow change. Push it again, it goes to another mode. Looks like that is solid red. That looks like we got solid green. 
solid blue. Solid, I think that's yellow, I'm assuming. And we'll, we'll shut the lights off here in a moment and uh, we can see the light a little bit better here, hopefully. Looks like purple. Kind of a cyan blue, maybe. And then back to white light again here. Okay, and then from the iPhone app here, you can control this as well. So we got brightness, color, how fast you want it to uh, blink, I guess. Like, super annoying. In fact, the camera actually isn't, doesn't look like it's picking it up real well. It's blinking so fast. There we go. So, dim it. Brightness. Let's see, what does this one do? Oh, it looks like the uh, speed at which it uh, changes. Okay. So, we can... Red light, green light, blue light, yellow. Again, this looks like it's going through the uh, modes on the different switches here. And of course, you can configure your own. So purple, cyan, back to the uh, white. And I have to say the white light is very bright. Blinking. Assuming that's like a yeah, fade to, to off there. So long press to pick a color here. So we can pretty much pick whatever color we want. Okay, just to show you as well, this app does come with a music player here, which apparently you can strobe the light to your music. Okay, we got the lights turned off here. So we're going to turn the LED light on. That is just regular white light. You can see that is quite bright in here. I definitely want to be looking at that. So let's just go through the modes here again. And again, this is just the color changing option here. So it's just cycling through the colors. That is the red, green, blue mode. This kind of fades on and off. Okay, and with that, we're going to wrap up the video here. And for some reason, I was missing the audio from this clip here, so I'm re-recording the audio here. But again, this was the McTuning 22-inch 120-watt RGB LED light bar. Definitely a cool-looking light bar here, uh, color-wise anyway. Uh, one nice thing about this light bar, it does allow you to use the uh, buttons to turn the lights on and off. So the main switch there will turn the light on, just white, regular light. And then, of course, if you want something a little bit different there, you can push the button, cycle through the colors. And, of course, if you want even more customization, then you can get out the uh, iPhone or Android app there and uh, pretty much set whatever colors, choices, flashing rates, blink rates, uh, brightness, all kinds of different uh, controls there. But anyway, if you folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.